Welcome to another SVJ tutorial. My name is Astrid and today I'm going to show you how to animate a toggle switch. This one should be a pretty quick one and if you are a beginner, this one's perfect for you. So let's begin. Okay, so here's our toggle switch and what we're gonna be doing is basically animating the this shape right here. So our little sun that we have here is gonna go here from the left to the right here and it's going to turn pretty much kind of like a light mode to dark mode so our sun here is going to turn into a moon and then the whole thing is going to turn purple and pretty much that's it this is a pretty simple animation that we're gonna be doing here so the first thing that I want to do here is uh, turn the background from yellow to purple so for that I'm going to add a fill color animation. I'm going to go forward in our timeline here and I'm going to do a purple color. So I have my my purple over here that I'm going to grab. That's a, the only reason why I have this purple layer here. I'm going to add a keyframe and then I'm going to paste my hex code right here and then I'm going to hold that value until around two seconds here. If you wanna use different values here, you can you can do that if you want. I might change it even. And then we're gonna go back to the, the yellow color. I'm actually gonna change it. Maybe I want uh, something like this. So that way, you know, we're gonna stay in purple and then we're gonna go back to, to that yellow. In this case, I don't want my animation to be linear because I think it can be a little more interesting than that. So I'm actually gonna use ease in out court, uh, which is going to be something like this. And if you are uh, confused about what all of these mean, there's actually a very useful cheat sheet that I like using. Uh, if you go to easings.net over here, uh, you're gonna find these i think there's more options here in in svjator like uh, i don't know if, if if all of these are actually available here but easing out court is right here so basically it starts very slowly it speeds up in the middle and then it ends uh slowly again so it, it kind of gives it like a very cool effect that's you know that's way more interesting than a linear uh, effect so I can now get rid of that purple circle that I had before. All I needed was that hex code. And that's the only thing that we need to animate uh, in terms of the background. So I'm going to lock that to make sure that I don't accidentally move it. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next thing. Next, I'm going to animate the toggle position. So all I have to do is add a position animation. So my toggle goes from left to right. So I'm going to select my entire toggle folder here and I'm going to add a position animation. I'm going to go forward to exactly the same, uh, the same point in time that I added here for my, for my fill color, for my background animation. I'm going to just move this all the way to this point right here, all the way to the edge here. And then I'm going to hold that so I can copy this one, copy and paste. And then I can just copy the initial keyframe here. So that way the toggle just goes like that. And then I can do the same easing out chord uh, easing that I added to, to my background. So it looks something like that. Now my my the background like the the shadow that i have here needs to follow the toggle a little bit better because it doesn't really make sense and then it, if it stays yellow like that it doesn't look good so i do want to change that too so i'm going to select my my pill shape which is the the actual background here and i'm going to animate also the the fill color here so i'm going to go forward exactly to the same point here i'm going to add a keyframe and I'm going to copy once more that purple 
hex code that I had before. And I'm gonna come back to my pill shape here, making sure that I'm in the in the right position here. And I'm gonna replace some of these values here. So obviously this purple is gonna be too much, but I can change it, maybe something like this. I do want to make sure that I change this yellow to something a little more neutral and definitely something lighter. So I, I might just go with pure white or something very close to white. And then over here, I think something a little darker would make more sense. Maybe this one could be something like this. Uh, yeah, whatever makes sense here, whatever looks like it's like the actual shadow that's following the toggle. So something like that. And then I'm just gonna copy this one get to this point and then copy the initial one. So it follows the, the toggle. So it's something, so that way when it turns purple, the shade of the shadow also changes accordingly. So we already have the toggle switching colors. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is change the actual sun and the sun is gonna turn into a moon and if we open here our, our folder, we actually don't have an actual moon icon. All we have is a circle, which is this uh, this sun. It's a sun circle like we have here in this layer. And then we have a sun mask and we have this sun to moon layer, which is actually just a one by one layer, which is actually like nothing. And I'm gonna show you in a minute why it is what it is. But before we do that, let's animate the, the sun rays to disappear with the sun. And then we're gonna create that moon animation. So let's select the sun rays here. And I want them to disappear and you know, do something cool. And then I want the circle to turn into the moon. So I'm gonna select the first line here. I have nine lines and I'm gonna add a few different effects um, or animations to my lines. And I definitely don't want to grab like each line and add animations to each one like nine times. So I'm just gonna grab one for now and I'm gonna add a few different things. So I'm gonna do stroke color first. So initially it's yellow and I wanted to turn purple because even though it's going to disappear, I think it's gonna be appropriate for it to kind of like transition into purple for it to help with the with the kind of like the, the color transition of the whole animation. So if I'm lucky here, I still have that hex code. Yes. Uh, so I'm gonna do exactly what I've been doing here. I'm gonna add my values here and I'm gonna copy and paste. So my, my sun ray here is just changing to, to purple and then changing back to yellow. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, with the same line selected, I'm going to add a stroke width animation. So the initial stroke width that I have here is 3.55 and that's going to turn into zero. And I'm going to just copy the keyframe, paste to hold and then I'm going to go back to, to 3.55. So that way it loops. And then finally, I'm going to also do an stroke offset animation. So here we have the, the dashes value and then we have the offset value, which is basically uh, 3.64 uh, is the length of my, of my actual uh, line here. And then times two is 7.28. And that's why we can actually see it. So if we only use the, the length of this one is pretty much the, the gap. So if we do 3.64, it's going to disappear. So if we do here 3.64, it becomes invisible. So we're gonna do 3.64. We're gonna hold 3.64 and then we're gonna go back to uh, 7.24. So it kind of like retracts and then it goes back to 7.24. Now I want to also add that easing out chord effect to make it more interesting. 
and then also well that's pretty much it that those are the three effects that i want for my for my for my lines which are my, my sunrise and then i'm gonna select my three effects here and i'm gonna select all of my lines i want to make sure that i'm at the beginning of my timeline here and i'm gonna uh, select all of my keyframes and i'm gonna so i'm gonna uh, do command b or control b and then that's gonna paste all of the animations into all of my sun rays here so now we test it and they're all doing it so you know that's that's a way to do it there's a few different ways to do it and if you really want to do it nine times you can also do that so we have that and i also want them to become completely invisible so i'm gonna grab the entire sun rays folder and i'm gonna add uh, opacity uh, animation here as well so we're gonna go from 100 percent to zero we're gonna hold it at zero and we're gonna go back to a hundred percent so something like that and we go back so now the last thing that we need to do is turn our our little circle here that looks like an egg <laughs> over here uh we need to turn this somehow into a moon shape now so it needs to sh it needs to turn purple and then it needs to turn into a moon shape so uh, for that i want to use my my mask that i that i have here so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab this one which like i said before this is this is just a layer that is like one by one uh, it's pretty much a, a circle that is nothing so what I'm gonna do is select sun to moon layer and I'm going to animate its scale and I'm gonna bring in all of, like the entirety of this uh, toggle animation is going to be like everything's exactly at the same time so you don't have to worry about you know different time timings here so I'm gonna bring it to to the same point here so 0.6 seconds and I'm going to do, I'm not sure exactly what size this should be. So let's try maybe 1.3 in terms of, of scale. And then I'm gonna follow exactly the same steps that I've been doing. So uh, I'm gonna copy and paste all of that. And then I'm also going to do a position animation. And not much is happening, right? But at this point, the way I would build my moon would be this way so you know that's starting to look like a moon right so maybe that's the moon shape that i want we can always tweak it and since our sun had the the sun rays around it it looked like a way bigger icon and you know it was it was good to have it that size so we're definitely gonna have to scale up our our moon to kind of like fill up the the space of our of our toggle uh, area here so if we are happy with the shape of our moon here we can go ahead and select the whole thing here so that would be our we can select select the sun to moon mask and then we can also add a scale animation and not there we have to go back to zero and select the sun to moon mask and then add a scale animation here go all the way to 0.6 and then let's say we want to do maybe 1.5 i think that looks good and then exactly the same steps we've been doing before so command command c command b here and then we also copy the initial keyframe and command B over here. So we go back to the initial aspect. So that's good. And then I also want my moon to rotate because I kind of want it to be uh, like in the opposite direction. So I'm going to add a ro rotation animation here as well. So it's going to be something like this. I think I like it right there. So again, command C, command V right here. And then we go back to the original rotation. Again, 
a lot of this, you know, if, if I didn't explain this before, all of these keyframes are exactly the same as these keyframes. And then all of these keyframes here, all of these keyframes here are, are exactly the same as the keyframes here. So if for, for some reason you accidentally didn't copy the keyframes from, from 0.6 seconds to 1.9 seconds or something is looking weird, you can always like grab all of the keyframes from from this column right here and paste them right here. And then the same same initial ones are the ones that are going to, the ones that you're gonna need for 2.5 seconds over here to do like the perfect loop, the perfect loop that we need. So it turns into a moon and then we go back to, to the sun. Now the moon, it's kind of yellow. So for that, I'm going to select the sun circle uh, layer and then I'm going to do a fill color animation. And again, I'm gonna go to 0.6 and then I'm gonna add my, my purple color right here, which I don't have anymore. So let me grab it. Let me undo that. I'm gonna grab my hex code over here. I'm gonna go back to my layer and then I'm gonna paste. And then again, I'm gonna copy the keyframe, paste it right here to hold, and then I can go back to, to yellow. And then we can also add the same easing that we had for, for the other thing. So easing out chord, we can also do it right here. And you can experiment with these things. Like there's so many options here. Some, some of these are not gonna make sense and it's just not gonna look right. But for this animation, uh, this one definitely looks really nice because of the toggle that we're making it. The easy and out chord just looks nice. But if you want to use a few different ones, you know, the, the best way to understand the, the easing fu functions is to like actually use them and experiment with them and see the, the differences. So, you know, I encourage you to, to actually uh, use them and, and see the, the differences there. So yeah, we have a, a cool toggle switch animation here. If you followed along, I encourage you to keep tweaking things, maybe change some of the easings, experiment with timings, maybe add some new design elements uh, and change things until you feel that everything feels just right. Maybe you can also uh, export things and use them for your uh, websites or other uh, projects. And if you have questions, leave them down below and we'll be happy to help. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.